So today, we're going to be doing something a little different that we've only done once before with our elders. Wow, I wonder what it is. So you're actually going to be reacting to a newspaper. What? A very old newspaper? I was in the behind the scenes of one of the elder shoots. It's either today's date or my birthday. It is a newspaper from the day you were born. From the day I was born. Okay, this is interesting. What? That's so cool. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So you'll all be looking at the New York Times that has been scanned digitally, where you can look at the full newspaper and click on any article that has been archived over the years. Wow, that, that's awesome. So you get a chance to see what was happening in the world the day that you were born. Oh man, that's so cool. From my rival, New York. I'm literally wearing a Boston Tom shirt and you're gonna show me a New York paper. <laughs> Tuesday, I was born on a Tuesday. It was a Tuesday? I didn't even know that. I was born on a Tuesday. Tuesday. Woo! This is awesome. Wow! That's crazy! Okay, all right. Head of Democratic Opposition is released. Oh gosh, Japanese arrest cult leader blamed in poison gas attacks. What? City transit unit using drug tests. Japan faces major shift in policy towards China? Portrait of man as mobster stirs community's disbelief. 60 cents. Oh my gosh. Today, what is it? Like a buck 50? Maybe more for like a newspaper? Woo! 15 cents. Damn. Oh my goodness. So this does have the full entire New York Times from that day, so you can actually click through some of the pages and see the full entire newspaper. Wow. N oh, Nixon. Oh, dang. Ads are a lot different. We're popping out our poplins. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, that's the suit. Look at that. You won't wear that nowadays. The look is you. Girl, look at the pockets. You see the pockets in the dress. I remember these ads. I remember these from when I was little, like, um, come get your computer fixed here. I remember like the first computer that my family had looked like the one in the upper left corner. It's just so crazy how fast the times have changed and like looking just at the quality of this newspaper and the fonts and the look of it, it just brings back so many memories from when I was little and I would see my parents reading the newspaper. This is like the entire TV guide and I remember you'd have to go through the paper too for movie times. If you wanted a movie, there was no way to look it up. There's one that says Donald Trump Dealmaker biography. Ugh. So we are also going to take you through a couple key articles from the day that you were born. Okay. So this is the headline. Washington, November 15, a member of President Nixon's staff had said in a conversation with a business executive that someone in the White House ordered the preparation of the controversial political advertisement that attacked eight Democrat senatorial candidates. Oof, you know, that's crazy that I always heard about Nixon, but I did not know it happened right at, you know, when I was born. Clinton takes on violent television. Wow. I had a lot of uh, friends that were even like, they, their parents really censored the type of media that they took in and they only gave them stuff they their parents thought was appropriate for them. There was a conversation I had with someone and they weren't allowed to watch Cat Dog because that's not how God intended it. <laughs> a bizarre election in Russia, is this the future? <laughs> what? That's so funny. Yeah, people are freaking out that like this is the first time that a president who shouldn't or like is not like typically who would be in power. Hey, it's happened before in Russia. Delegates yeah. to the Elks National Convention rejected today a resolution to remove the word white from the or organization's membership requirements. You, gross. I just had a very, um, uh, I would say a very balanced awareness of racism in my town. I experienced the N word, of course, I experienced um, you know, tar baby. My skin doesn't even look like tar. What I do appreciate is the fact that I had to learn really quick, quickly who I was as a person. Sometimes even now, uh, especially with the climate of where the where the world is, I the heightened um, awareness that I feel now is a reminder of what I felt growing up in Kansas. Take a communist to Barney's. My good friend, Vladimir and I, Vladimir, whoa. The headline is, sounds as if they were so friendly with the communists, but uh, that I know they had never been friendly with communists, uh, especially during those days. This thing is like blowing my mind. I have no idea what they mean by take a communist to, to, to Barney's. Simpsons defense? 
<laughs> Whoa, that's a throwback. I haven't talked to my parents at all about this, which is kind of weird because my dad reads the newspaper like every day. I kind of want to ask him about it now. The fact that I was born right in the middle of like the cases is beyond me because it seems so, so far away and it makes me feel terribly old. Clinton praises Bush for quitting NRA. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's still what we're talking about today. The NRA is all over the news. It's like almost kind of sad that like these issues like still haven't been solved. It's like, well, in 23 years from now, we'll see if the headlines are still, they're probably still gonna be like the same issues. Cause I mean, these things don't get solved overnight. I remember like when I was young, my parents would get the paper at their doorstep every day and read the paper every single day. And now I don't even think we get it anymore. So newspapers aren't actually the only things that can take you back in time. Another great representation of the time is the music and the movies. Right. So first, we are actually going to play you the top song from the top of the Billboard charts on the day that you were born. Okay, the 90s just killed it with music, so I feel like it's gonna be a good one. The day I was born, what is it, what could it be? Let me fill your heart with I don't know this rock, dude. I was gonna say stupid, but like, oh, dumb. I always thought that this song came out like maybe six to eight years before I was born. And it's too late. I love this song. Now it's too late. we really did try to make you Get it, girl. Whoa. <laughs> I knew it was going to be good. Oh. I'm so happy now. <laughs> this is TLC, right? That doesn't make me feel old. That makes me feel happy that I'm represented so well in music. Oh my gosh. I don't even know who this is, but I know this song. Everyone knows this song. the number one the day I was born. I wonder if my parents were jammed to that in the hospital, you know? <laughs> it's such a happy, fun song. It's still popular today. You still hear it around sometimes. So next up, we are gonna show you the trailer for the movie that was the number one at the box office on the day you were born. Oh Lord, what could that be? I feel like this is gonna be bad. <laughs> I never heard of it. From the most widely acclaimed new novel of the 1970s, Love Story. Nope. Wow. How come I never seen this movie before? It looks like it's a long love story, so I don't know if I would sit throughout the whole thing. Once in a small village, there were three daughters. Daughters. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Matchmaker, matchmaker. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. A story of the strength that binds a people. and the love that binds a family. You don't understand, I did not know this, I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh. This is the very first musical that I ever saw in the eighth grade when I fell in love with um, musical theater. I did not know that that was the when I was born. The future. The polar ice caps have melted. Dun, dun, dun. Those who survived have adapted to a new world. What is it? Universal Pictures presents. I've never seen it. Unlike any you have ever seen. Whoa. Waterworld. Waterworld, whoa! Holy sh! That's Waterworld from Universal! Whoa, whoa. I've never actually seen the movie. I've only seen the show. I'll take Waterworld. That, that, uh, I, I feel like I have to go see that in honor. For 100 years, he has wandered the hall what? at Staff Manor. I've seen this before. I feel like I know what it is. There's a girl on my bed. Casper the Ghost! Yes! This was like my favorite movie when I was a kid. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, I remember we had it on VHS. We named my dog Casper. Life at Whipstaff Manor. Can I keep you? Aww. Be the same. Cool. This is bringing back all the memories. I am just like so proud of my birthday now. Like we had Casper the Friendly Ghost and this is how we do it. Could it get any better? I don't know. So finally, we showed you multiple mediums that allow us to look back into our past. Yes. It was so fun. What are some of your favorite ways to capture what life was like growing up for you personally? Uh, for me, a lot of times it's video games and just uh, nostalgic toys. Toys really bring me back. Like, I was thinking the other day about a Skip It. Oh my gosh, those were so fun! Through music, uh, news, movies, a little. And then I look back, what, what was I doing at that time? Who was I with, you know, and things like that. I'm a huge scrapbooker for my girls. So, um, you know, from the time they were born all the way through this. So you guys just did this for me. <laughs> hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Now, what other React exceptions would you like to see the reactors try? You gotta let us know in the comments below because it just might make its way into the next episode. Bye guys.